Well, I'm playing uh, May Bertram, uh, the woman uh, who was originally born in St. Petersburg, and uh, apparently she met uh, uh, John Marcher in Italy, in Pompeii, and then Naples, and then we went to the Pompeii, the beach, watched the Mount of Vesuvius. So we have the uh, love for at first sight, and uh, hard to explain, but the heart was telling the thing that uh, was going on through the whole um, play. So um, apparently the... My, my, my character uh, was uh, in love through the whole life, uh, although we had the break of the, uh, seeing each other over like 20 years, uh, from Naples to uh, London, and then again over 20 years to New York. Uh, May Bertram never stopped loving John Marcher because um, he told her the secret uh, that he never told anybody before, and um, he was afraid that she's going to laugh at him, but uh, apparently she she did understand what happened with his soul, his heart, his mind, that he had a very difficult childhood and that's uh, left a really big scar in his heart. So um, she was married and she, was, she loved another man, but she, she, she never stopped loving. She was in love with John March all her life. Yeah, apparently. And John Marcher is played by Tony Asbeth. Uh, yes, I, I play him in his 20s, and I play him in his 40s, and a wonderful actor in our company, Peter Friedman, plays him in his 70s? 70s. Mm -hmm. Yes, we get the uh, specifics. Um, and uh, the this whole show sort of came to... For me, I got very passionate about it because it, 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 it became very real for me that it was about commitment and the decisions we make in life to uh, to love someone truly and to actually really accept love in return. And um, and so this character that I play, uh, you know, falls in love madly, fully, and then runs away from it. Um, and then has a chance 20 years later to, to um, find the same woman again and, and has the chance to accept it and, and to give that love and then runs away again, just destroys his chance. Um, so you, you watch this man all through his life uh, have the ability to really commit and to have a fully realized love and, and always backs down from it. And, you know, kind of has a bunch of excuses and reasons why, but in the end, you know, what's, what's great is our audience is able to look at it and and see that it's really just about the decision we can make to love and be loved in return. And that's so, what's powerful. 